What up, players? Happy New Year! It is War Boss Tay up in this 2016. It is the 1st of January 2016, and I wanted to say Happy New Year to you all. I've got some Black Templars here I want to show you real quick. This is for a commission for my studio, War Boss Tay Studios, and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. If you haven't seen my previous videos, the client requested Black Armored Terminators with either a white helmet with a red stripe or a red helmet with a white stripe. I decided to go with Black Templars because I've seen a lot of their helmets in white and I think they match more the way they were loaded out here with the, the Power Sword and the Storm Bolter, the Assault Cannon, the uh, Flamer and the Chain Fist. I thought they were suited more for a heavy duty combat oriented army like the Black Templars than a more mobile and uh, I guess sneaky kind of hit and run army like the Raven Guard. So I'm really happy with the way they came out. I was planning to do a tutorial, but the clips didn't turn out so well when I loaded them into the computer. There was a lot of focus problems and um, some sound issues. So let me give you the quick rundown of how to achieve this if you are a Black Templar player and you want to get this the same kind of effects. So spray your model with Abaddon Black, highlight with first I use Mechanica Standard Gray, and then I use Dawnstone to get this uh, gr nice gray highlight. I didn't use any blues for the highlights for this. Sometimes I use blues to highlight my black armor. And with the Black Templars, because white is their accent color, I decided to go with a more gray and neutral highlight rather than going with blue, which would make them look a little bit more, uh, I, th I think, like elegant. And the, the blue highlights on black just give it a totally different feel. I think this is more of a work horse, utilitarian, very gritty, grimdark kind of feel to the armor with the with the gray highlights. For the white, I basically just use Vallejo's Deck Tan. I don't use any of Games Workshop's white paints anymore. I think they are really uh, terrible at drying out and clumping and separating and just really not good. I've wasted so much money on paint pots for Games Workshop's White Scar and uh, Ceramite White, those two pots. They're just really, really bad. I've had really bad experiences with them. Vallejo's Deck Tan, though, gives you a beautiful off-white ivory color that just really, really looks terrific when you shade it with known oil like I do for the helmets and then highlight it back up with deck tan. Again, it just creates a beautiful, beautiful color. Very good coverage, easy to put on. I love it. The bone on the Crux Terminatus and the parchment seals is just Rackarth flesh shaded with Agrax Earthshade and known oil and brought back up with a little bit of deck tan added in for some highlights onto the bone and... Let's see, the silver is Lead Belcher, shaded with known oil, brought back up with rune, rune Fang Steel. And the red on the parchment is, or for the seals, is basically Corn Red, shaded with known oil, brought back up with Mephiston Red. I added some detail and filigree to the um, armor, to the shoulder pads there. Deck Tan on the black plates and Abaddon Black on the white plates. Let's see how close we can get in here. The uh, sh shoulder pad transfers are basically the Black Templar transfers that come with the Space Marine transfer sheet. I applied it using Micro Sol and Micro Set. And then to dull down the shine, thanks Itig Beer for the suggestion of using Lamian Medium. It really, really worked out well for me. And then I brought back up the color with a little bit of highlight. I thought the black was a little too stark. And a little bit of gray highlight into that Black Crusader Cross. I think just is does the trick. So that's just Mechanicum Standard Gray onto the black. I love these models. I think they're great. I had a lot of fun painting them, especially this one, trying to make it look not like the Dark Angels Deathwing model without removing any of the iconography. So the Dark Angels Winged Sword is still pretty prominent, but I brought out all of the other pieces that would make it look like a Black Templar's temp Terminator. I put script on a lot of the armor on the leg plates and elsewhere on the shoulder pads and I think that is really good at kind of separating your models making them look very revered venerable writing down their glorious deeds and accomplishments onto their armor itself I'm not going to drill out the gun holes in case the client does not want me to do that but I will put in a little bit of black paint that's the last thing I'm going to do just put a little bit of black paint to represent the whole in the nozzles there and the barrels for all of the weapons 
And uh, I, one thing I did not do yet is write down some script onto this uh, parchment there. Love these models. Again, I hope you guys enjoy this quick look at the Black Templars as well as my thoughts on how to paint them. I hope you're having a great beginning of 2016, and we'll see you in the next video.